everybody, welcome back. It's Tasha here. I am here today with my November Allure Beauty Box unboxing. So please stick around, we'll jump into that in just a minute. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that are new here, my name is Tasha and on my channel I do all things makeup. I typically upload three times a week. Please consider subscribing, it would make such a huge difference for me and this way you'll be notified of all my future uploads. Without any more talk, let's go ahead and jump into the Allure Beauty Box. Um, so I did my video last month, and when I did it, I had initially received an email that said that the box wasn't increasing in price until December, and then about a couple days later, they sent out an oops email that no, it really increased in price as of last month. So October's Beauty Box for Allure was the $23.99, which is the higher cost. But for me, I did not see a big difference between the $15 and the $23.99. So I definitely was disappointed for last month. Um, so let's jump into this month and see what it's like. I have seen a couple of unboxings already, so I'm not completely uh, sub surprised. Wow, that didn't even come out. Surprised. <laughs> Um, so we'll go ahead and jump in and I'll kind of give you my thoughts. So the first thing I have here, this is the Acure Ultra Hydrating 12 Hour Facial Moisturizer. It says it, it does have adaptogens and super greens to intensely moisturize skin. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty sure this is not a full size product. Usually Acure you can get at Target, online, those kind of places. A full size product is priced at $18.99. Um, we got nowhere near a full-size product. This is um, a 12-hour moisturizer. It isn't heavy or thick, um, and that's kind of the essence of that product. Um, I do like a Cure as a brand. It is typically considered more of a drugstore brand, which is not bad. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I do think this is just a little sample size, though. Okay, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll get into all this in a little bit. Here is the Dermalect. This is the Self Esteem Beauty Repair Serum. Um, and this is this has two powerhouse ingredients. This vitamin this serum has vitamin C, which helps to fade dark spots, as well as hyaluronic acid, which prevents moisture from evaporating. And really what hyaluronic acid does, I'm having such a difficult time talking today. Sorry. What a hyaluronic acid does is actually draw moisture into the skin. Thing is, you have to have the moisture there to pull in. And so that's why you'll see with some people, they will add water first to their face before they add a hyaluronic acid product or some kind of other moisturizer first, like that Acure Beauty product, as long as it doesn't have occlusive ingredients, so ingredients that would block anything else from coming in, then add the hyaluronic acid. Sometimes that really helps to pull all that moisturizer in. Um, this is a full-size product. It is $42. Let's open up this box. Um, it is a beautiful red bottle. I have gotten one other Dermalect product before. It was that um, eyelash serum, which I do use occasionally. I can't say I see tons of difference. You can see that's a pretty thick serum. Um, it is kind of yellowish in tint. Oh, and it smells very alcoholy. Um, Key ingredients, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, L-absorbic acid. Oh wow, there's quite a few acids in here. Um, overnight treatment, focus on fine lines, wrinkles, and large pores. Great for age spots, uneven tone. First ingredient, water. Then we have butylene glycol, ascorbic acid, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, aloe vera leaf extract, arginine, um, Vetus vinifer, which is grape seed extract, Echinacea um, or coneflower, same thing, witch hazel extract, glycerin, which glycerin is a really nice product that will help with hydration, sodium hyaluronate, alolin, I don't know what that is, cellulose, and it does have alcohol in it, and I knew I smelled alcohol in it. Um, it does have a couple of glycerins in there, so you'd have to try it on your skin and see what it's like. I and not always the hugest. Oh, that smells like brown sugar now. <laughs> I'm hungry today. <laughs> um, I don't always have the best 
experience with products with alcohol only because my skin tends to be super super dry I will try this though because I do like some of the other things that are in it glycerin is a great thing with all of these acids though although it does say to use every night as a sleep serum I would work into this and do it a little at a time some of those acids can have some dryness or some irritating effects as well um, so just be careful with this but I do like the product I do like that that's great the next product that I have here is the Josephine and that's all it says this is the Josephine Cosmetics Eye Dazzle the liquid metal eyeshadow hmm this is a full-size product it is in Meet Leona glamorously healthy that's what the top of the box says that's cute um, rich high voltage color with a chamomile infused texture mm, I don't know what that is that glides on smoothly opening the eyes with hours worth of bold shimmer it is cruelty free it is vegan I do like both of those things uh, it says apply with the wand directly to the eyes blend with your brush or your fingertip I love that bottle look at that that is beautiful that is a very high-end looking bottle um, it is almost all tinted kind of brown sorry black and then you have the ombre so you have that little bit of a brownish color at the bottom and let's go ahead and swatch this oh this will be a dark beautiful shade a very bronzy shade very browny bronzy that is gorgeous if I had the right eyeshadow combo I would put that on today beautiful We'll have to see how it dries down how it wears um, I do like that so that is full-size product if I didn't say it is $30 um, the next thing we have is the manic Adar, um, lip bliss moisturizing lip mask this also is a full-size product $22 in value um, and it is oh I thought it would be a squeezy tube um, I was thinking this was like one of those squeezy tube lip things but it is not is it actually a wand um, not a lot comes out at the same time yeah hardly any comes out when you're putting it on like there's not a lot that comes out on the applicator sorry I'm not doing that so you can see um, oh, is anything in is there any product even in here yeah there is a lot of it's at the very very bottom and it's like a thick gel formula I'm surprised that they use this kind of an applicator for that because you can see I'm hardly getting any. I am getting a little bit more once I pressed it up and kind of scooped it out. Um, there is a little bit of a smell, although not a lot. We'll have to see how that goes. It's supposed to be a lip mask, so wear it overnight or certainly during the day to help with hydration. So it does say apply to dry, clean lips. Can be applied before bed for maximum results, just like kind of the Laneige or those kind of night um, lip masks. Cool. Okay. So three full-size products so far. I do like all of them. They're, they're pretty cool. We do have kind of a one-use thing. This is the Skin Medica Instant Bright Eye Mask. A set of six pack, so a set of six is $48. That's a lot of money, holy moly. Um, this is obviously only one. They do have a code if you enter Allure 20. At checkout on the Skin Medica website, you get 20% off. Hmm. It's formulated with glycerin to hydrate antioxidant golden root extract to plump up tired eyes. Helps with discoloration and puffiness. I'm always up for a good eye under eye mask. Do like this. However, I do have to say 48 for 6 is a lot. You can get the ones from Pixie. They have the Detoxify or they have the Fortify. E-Y-E-I. Haha. <laughs> Um, and both of those are really really good you get them in a big tub there's quite a few much less expensive and they do work pretty well they are the hydrogel kind um, it doesn't seem like these are the hydrogel kind it seems like these are more the um, paper with the infused serum so we'll try them I'm always up for one next product that I see is a little itty bitty sample size this is the Neogen Dermatology Real Fermented Micro Essence. Full size product is $38. Um, it says this fluid is spiked with rice and yeast ferments. Wow, yeast ferments that improve the skin's microbiome. 
um, and it's supposed to help with hydration. So this is very similar to the SK2 idea, or they do have a dupe of that the, um, that Misha does, and I forget exactly what it's called. I use the Misha one every day because I do like those yeast and rice fermented um, products because they do help with aging, they do help with hydration, um, and this is kind of before everything. So you're layering this with all of your other products to help promote hydration as well as to help anti-aging. So I do like this idea. Um, I will try it because I will see what I think about this. The Misha is still less expensive and works really, really well. The SK2 works great, but it is super expensive. Um, this is kind of in between, so certainly a good product. I wish it were a little bit bigger, but there is quite a bit of this because you don't need a whole lot since it is an essence. You would just put a little bit out and then kind of pat into skin before you've done anything. Um, yeah, I like it. Okay. Next product that I have in here is oh, Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. Um, this is not a full-size product. Full-size is $16. This is one of those scrubs that you put on the scalp and helps um, clarify and detoxify. It's supposed to help with hair um, growth. I, huh, it does say it foams up, so most of these don't. Um, it does say it foams up. It has sugar crystals that will dissolve with the water. I typically use a purple shampoo on my hair, and, and I, since I've gone blonde, only wash my hair like once every seven or eight days kind of thing. Um, so I don't know that this will replace what I use, but I'll certainly try it, see what I think about this. I do think though for the price of a full size product at $16, they could have done a full size instead of this little travel, but there is still a good bit. You probably could get two uses out of this, something like that, depending on how long your hair is, that kind of thing. And then the very last product in here is the when the last, and there were videos complete, I've dropped something. <laughs> when the last choice sheet mask. Um, just like a regular sheet mask, you put it on for 10 minutes and then of course rub the serum in afterwards. Um, not So this person says it helps with the combination skin glow, but also hydration. This is a premium biocellulose sheet mask. So, so it is not a hydrogel, it is one full sheet mask that contains gentle ingredients to help drench your skin in long lasting moisture. I, it has glycerin in it, it does have coconut, um, so be careful, this does have coconut oil or coconut um, products in it, so if you break out from coconut, those kind of things, I probably would not use this because this is definitely coconut based. The coconut is probably third or fourth ingredient down. Um, water, there are a whole lot of other things in here. Um, I'm always up for a sheet mask, it's good. My perspective on a sheet mask, so it's $5 for one. That's not an awful price, um, but I do think that this should be an adjunct to your skincare. Um, it definitely won't replace skincare, maybe help with relaxing, um, those kind of things, but I don't find I see huge changes from a sheet mask, if that makes sense. Okay, so that was the Allure box for this month. I do think it was much better than last month. Um, there are several products in here that I'm excited to try, particularly these two here, the Essence and the beautiful, beautiful eye shadow, whatever you call it. Sorry, my brain is not working today. Um, it has dried down. It does not smudge or smear. You definitely need to let it dry for a while because it was still wet for quite a bit after. But that is a beautiful, sh beautiful shimmer shine. Um, and then I'm interested to try this Manicatar lip mask. We'll see how it is. My lips are always dry, so I am always up for something like that. Um, I still think for $23.99, oh, and there we go. There's my dogs. The dogs have made an appearance in every video, I think. <laughs> Um, I do think for $23.99 um, versus a box like Ipsy for a dollar more for $25 or BoxyCharm, same thing, for $25, and this includes shipping for all three boxes, you get a better value, particularly if you're makeup focused, if you do Ipsy or Birchybox. Birch, wow, no, BoxyCharm, wow. Um, Ipsy, however, has made some changes, and I do think that 
I am going to try, I have their lowest tier bag, which is like $12.99, it's all sample size. Um, their next bag up, the Glam bag, is $25, and though that box, you can choose three of your five products and customize it. I do like that idea, because then you get exactly what you want, and the value is really there. Not that I'm putting down a lure box. I was such a huge proponent of Allure when it was $15. I thought they did amazing with it. I thought they had amazing products, amazing value. I think maybe they're still trying to figure it out with this $23.99 one. So I will give them a couple more months to see what happens. Um, hopefully it will improve as we go along. What did you guys think of your Allure box? Um, is it something that you're gonna keep now that we have the increase in price? Is it something you really enjoy? Um, it does expose me to a lot of products that otherwise I wouldn't be exposed to. I do like that component of it. Um, let me know what you think. Give me a shout down below. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day wherever you're at. Thank you so much for joining me. I loved having you here with me. Stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!